Today we're going to talk about the removal of the ugly shield, this ugly film on the front of your motorhome. And uh, thanks for being here. Let's go. All right, guys, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this generator door and we're going to start from here and just go halfway over and show you how to safely remove this section and give you a nice before and after. First thing we're going to do, scraper, come to the sandpaper and just do the same thing every time the same way. Build that edge, make it smooth, and then you're not going to have the paint problem. Again, we're going to curl those corners. This is going to help us slice through the film. One thing you want to be careful of are these edges. Diamond Shield likes to roll the film over the edges, so we want to cut this, but we don't want to hurt the paint. Take some ugly juice, and we're just going to go easily and gently down the corner like this. Nice and easy. A little more juice. And the same thing across the top. We're going to cut this seam just like that. Now, I'm not really putting hardly any pressure on this. I'm just going real nice and easy. Hope I don't catch a rock chip. Just like that. Now we're going to start at this corner and we're going to work our way over. I just put a little bit of the juice and I just start going through. Just like that. A little more, a little more juice and just come through. Now I've done a couple little passes and I'm noticing that this is not gliding so I want to go back to the sandpaper. But I don't have to start through all three, I can just go right to the 320. Hit those edges just like that and come back over. I like to do a little bit because I'm working in that area there. And just slide on over. Nice and easy. You don't want to make too big of a pass, you just want to keep it simple. It's a tedious process, it takes time, you do not want to rush this. This is where the paint can get damaged if you get a little bit, you know, you want to go crazy and go fast because you think it's easy or it's going real easy and it's being simple. That's when you can get in trouble, just take your time. Been doing this a long time. This is about our 700th removal in four years. They still take me and my father seven, eight hours to do. But we're safely removing the film, leaving all the glue, not touching the paint, and then just keep working yourself over. Just like this. Nice and simple. Nice and slow. If this was easy, everybody can do it, but we're going to try and see if we can help you and see if we can help you not hurt your paint. Just little strips. Just little strips. Alright guys, sorry about the noise. We've got an active shop today, got a lot going on. But one thing I want to switch to on this film removal, this is very important. This is where you can get in trouble. You don't want to pull this off of here. Because if it's weak and the paint can't handle it, you can pull the paint just by pulling this film. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of our ugly juice, take our scraper, and we're going to hold it like this, and we're just going to cut up through. Just like that. Don't pull it, cut it. Drop it in your bucket. Easy for cleanup. And just do the same thing over. Just like that, boom. And we're just going to keep continuing, going across the same way. Nice and slow. Just don't rush, just take your time. If you can get away with doing this step without a heat gun, you're so much better off. But if it does require the heat, it's a colder in weather, or the sun's not out, if you can do it without a heat gun, it's a whole lot better. A whole lot safer. People like to use steam. I do like the heat gun better. But if I can get away without using one, it's just one extra step that I don't have to do and it's a whole lot safer. Just don't go fast, take your time. 
We'll go back up here now. We'll spray it just like that. Keep it lubricated. Come across. Barely putting any pressure on this. And then just come across nice and slow. When it glides like that, you have it nice and sharp. It's super smooth. It's cutting through nice. And then you just go like that. Now the one thing you're going to find on this 2011 Newmar working on, this is the year that the glue is real gummy, it's real sticky. We like to call it snot glue. You're going to use a lot more rags removing this glue, but again, a little bit of time and then when you're done, it's perfect. No paint loss. Little strips and go slow. Alright guys, one thing I want to talk about here on this dark colored coat, you can't really see it. The film is ugly as far as the bugs have eaten the film, so you can't do anything about it. The film is dull looking. You can see some of the imperfections, but in this white where the Ventana name is, all of this glue that's still on here, that's where the mold is. That's what you see through the film. It's mold. It's in the glue. You can't clean it. The film is covering it. So when we get a little bit of adhesive, which is our ugly juice, and you take it like this, just a little bit like that, and we get our towel. There you go. The paint's clean, the mold's gone. All right guys, one thing about Ugly Juice, it's not actually helping us take the film off, but it's helping us glide the tool through the film and making it safer for us to not hurt the paint. And we still gotta remove the glue with Ugly Juice, but this is just helping the tool glide. That's all we're using it for. All right guys, on this step, don't ever get discouraged. These used to take me seven days to do. Eight hour days, seven days. If you just take your time, I'm hoping to help you shave some of that time off your deal. But just take your time. I can do these in one day now, but they used to take seven. Just take your time. Get used to the scrapers, get used to the feel. You want it to just be nice and smooth. And just go slow. All right guys, why this is so important to do it this way, a lot of the people out there think you can just safely pull this film. Well that's okay, sometimes you can, but you could be pulling and pulling and pulling and this spot right here be weak, and that weak spot only be my thumb size nail big. But boy, if you start pulling, everything's going great and all of a sudden this becomes the size of a dollar bill. So by us doing it this way and not pulling this, slicing through it, we're ensuring that if we get to a spot that's weak, we're not even going to hurt that. That's why we do it this way. Alright guys, just a little trick. I like to keep things simple. I like to try to keep the shop clean. So I just got my trusty bucket down here. It's just a nice little wash bucket. Again, I'm not pulling the film even at this stage. I'm just going to hit the solvent, the ugly juice, and I'm just going to slice down. And the film's going to fall right into the bucket. Again, this is just the safest way, the 
cleanest way to do it. We're not pulling the film. Boom, right in the bucket. No mess to clean up. And we didn't pull any paint. Now we're onto the glue. All right guys, I like to switch to this size scraper. Again, I gotta make sure it's smooth and nice and straight. I'm gonna have my bucket down here to catch the glue that's gonna fall from this area here. So let me go sharpen the tool. Again, the same way. Every step's the same, keep it simple. Because all this is for, no paint loss, no paint damage. And this helps us not scratch the paint, removing the glue. Now we don't have to worry about the edges being curled because we're not pulling film. We're just going straight to glue. Again, ugly juice. We're going to spray a small area. Okay, one tip about this, you guys, something I have to tell you. This is a 2009 to 10, 11 run of film from Diamond Shield that has the real snotty glue. This stuff is sticky. It doesn't like to come off in balls like other years. And it's gonna require more towels and solvent. But you're just gonna to have to have a lot more towels to get this off, that's all. It's gonna be real smeary. It's gonna be real snotty. But look how easy it comes off though. Just a little bit more juice. And what I like to do is just come up underneath it and then just dump it in the bucket. See how sticky it is, it won't even want to come off. Again, just work a small area, guys. This is not a race. You've not hurt the paint, so now the hard part's over. Now it's just cleaning up. And then just drop the glue and get your towel. I like to spray the towel and then just do a little wipe. Boom. And we're safely removing the film. Now the glue, remove removing it without hurting this paint. All right guys, one thing I wanna talk about, usually the name, this one is a Ventana, usually it's the name, it's a sticker over the film, or this will usually be painted and clear coated. But one thing I wanna to talk to you about is this N has been painted, it's not a sticker. So we have to be really careful around this N because this is a uncleared letter. So we can easily damage this paint if we're not careful. This is a first for me. I've never seen a painted logo. It's usually a sticker over the film and it comes off in the film, or it's usually painted and this one's not. This one's a painted but not clear coated. So it's a little bit vulnerable to our scrapers. Just be careful. All right guys, so there you have it. That was how we safely removed the ugly film, the ugly glue which you can very well see showed the glue with the mold. No paint loss. I hope this guys, hope this helped you out. I know you heard me referring to a product called Ugly Juice. Guys, I'm proud to say, and I'm very excited about this, but it's actually our own product that we've perfected. And Ugly Juice is ready to go, ready to use. It didn't hurt my hands. It didn't hurt the paint. And then we also have a product called Ugly Boost. We're gonna get into that later with 3M products and films that need a little bit kick to make the ugly juice stronger. It's available for sale on our website. That'll be coming soon. Uh, you don't have to use it. I know if you like your own, that's fine. But we've kind of perfected something that works. We've been using it for years and now it's available for sale. But I hope you got something out of this video. We got more to come. Please like, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you very much.